Hi YouTube, this is Care Bear. I just wanted to um, pop on. I had somebody uh, leave a comment on one of my last videos asking me what I was eating. And I can't remember who it was, and I'm sorry, but um, I did promise them a video today, and I still have two minutes <laughs> to put the video on before it's Easter. So um, I just wanted to kind of go over what I've been eating the last few days um, since I've been home from surgery. I've been home from surgery now. Um, I came home on Tuesday and it's Saturday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's not right. Tuesday. Okay, so I came home on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So five days if you count Tuesday, even though I came home at 7 o'clock. But um, my surgeon gave me a sheet of paper that told me what my, you know, what I can do up to a certain point. So up to three days. See if I can see this up to three days, clear fluids, three to five days full uh, liquids like cream soup, then 10 to six, 10 days to six weeks is soft food. Now, I did, I was looking at this today and it made no sense to me. They give me three to five, or up to three days, three to five days, and then the next step is 10 days. So, I don't know why it doesn't say three to 10 days. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do between that five and ten days. So I actually had, I had already just assumed that after five days, I didn't even look to see that it said ten days to start on soft foods. So I had kind of planned on starting soft foods tomorrow. But anyway, so this is what I've been eating. So for clear flu, clear liquids, it was water, tea with Splenda, always, and I always did like an herbal or non-caffeinated, decaffeinated tea. Um, Jello, sugar-free Jello, and I would sometimes I would um, like make the Jello, um, and in its hot stage, I would pour it into a mug, and it wouldn't set if you didn't put it into the refrigerator. And so I would just drink it, kind of like a tea. It was really, really, really sweet, but you can you know liquid it down. <laughs> what am I looking for? <laughs> you know, make it a little bit more runny if you wanted to add water, so it wasn't as strong and it wasn't as thick. Um, and that, you know, that was really good. So, um, so, um, and then, you know, I pre-portioned everything out into like a little container so that if I had to go somewhere that I could take it with me if I wasn't really hungry at that point. Now I have to really be honest for the people who aren't here yet, or for the people who ha have been through this or who are going through this, back me up. I couldn't tell at the beginning what my stomach was telling me because there was a lot of un discomfort in my stomach with the after having just had the operation and with all the pain and you know the soreness and stuff like that so I really couldn't tell whether my body was telling me if my stomach was kind of doing its you know post-op growling or whether it was telling it telling me it was full and then I realized you know I was just drinking liquid so mostly it was just like really going down pretty quickly I'm sure um so that was something that I was really kind of not looking, I, I came, didn't know what to do with that. I wasn't sure whether I could continue to drink, 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 or whether I had to, like, you know, take time in between. If I had, a, you know, a bowl of jelly, not a bowl of jelly, a little cup of jelly, um, jelly, jello, if I had a cup of jello, um, I didn't ever get full from it, but I also really, like, chewed it and kind of swished it in my, between my teeth and stuff until it became pretty much fluid. So it, nothing really stuck around in my stomach, I'm sure. Um, but I did um, broth. I did um, chicken broth. Um, I did chicken and I didn't do any vegetable or beef because chicken had the most protein, even though it wasn't like a ton. Um, it, vegetable had none and beef, beef, I think, had, you know, less than chicken. So I just decided to do chicken. Um, I think it's the shrinking beauty was asking like how am I supposed to be getting all of my um, protein and my fluids in and I had mentioned to her that I at this point haven't really even been keeping track of my protein because I've just been making sure that I'm not overstretching my pouch that I'm trying to drink liquids as much as possible and I'm really trying to focus on the 30 minutes before and after a meal not drinking before that period of time and so I'm just kind of once I got into full liquids, that was when I could tell, oh, wow, okay, I'm full. My, my pouch couldn't eat anything more. It almost felt like I had an air bubble stuck in my chest, you know, like one of those air bubbles that you kind of try and tap 
have to work out sometimes, but it would just be the fullness. I'm guessing that's at least how it feels for me, like right under my, right, like right under my rib cage between my ribs. Um, that's kind of how it felt for me. And then, so I, I was on that for three days. So Tuesday, end of Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So then on Friday at midnight, I had a cup of pudding <laughs> that I had made and had set aside. And I actually, I actually, I'll be honest, I started at 11 o'clock. I started like licking it. And my sister-in-law was with me and she was cracking up and she was like, I thought you weren't supposed to have this until tomorrow. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make this bowl last until midnight. And I actually did. And it was the tiniest little ramekin it was just like a dollop of chocolate pudding in it. And it was the best thing I had tasted. The broth in the hospital was the best thing I had tasted right after surgery. I take that back. The ice chips were the best thing I had tasted after surgery. Then the broth and then the pudding was just like, oh my gosh, so good. And then um, yesterday I was able to go to the um, full liquids, which is like milk, um, cream soup, pudding, um, so that's pretty much what I've been, what I've been making. I opened a can of cream of broccoli soup yesterday and three quarters of it lasted me all day. Now I did, you know, thin it out and, um, put it in a mug and drank it, but I just made sure that I also kept a Kleenex next to me. This might be kind of gross, but if I got any part that I couldn't really break it down very well, or it was taking me too long to break it down, I would spit it out like any of the broccoli in it. Um, so I, cause I didn't really want to deal with any sort of anything getting stuck at this point because I didn't want to have to, um, you know, deal with gagging over a toilet and busting stitches or anything. I was just, I don't really, it's not my kind of idea of fun. So, um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I tried last night, I tried hummus and after, you know, it was like in the middle of having hummus, my husband was like, I would have thought that was soft food and not a full liquid. And I was kind of comparing it to the consistency to pudding that it was still kind of, you know, it's thick, but it still is really kind of creamy and goes down really easy. And so I had some last night and had no problems and filled me really, really well. Probably over a three hour period, I had probably two and a half tablespoons of it. But, and I just use, when I say tablespoons, I just mean like a big spoon that you have on the table, <laughs> not like a teaspoon, but a normal size spoon. You know, I would just like fill the spoon and then my husband had the bread, you know, the big big circular Mediterranean bread and then then the hummus and so that's kind of what he had for dinner and I just had just with the hummus <laughs> so um and I didn't have any problems with it but I decided not to have any today because I figure I'll just wait until tomorrow I'm in no hurry you know to I don't really want to make myself sick and I don't want to push myself so um I just really stuck with um soup I had pea soup today thank you mom very much for the can of pea soup it was amazing Anderson's canned pea soup. It had bacon bits in it. And, um, again, if I felt like there wasn't anything that really could break down too much, um, I tried to spit it out, but, um, I know I swallowed a couple of pieces and I really didn't have any problems at all. And it was delicious, but I didn't, I wasn't able to have as much as I wanted to. I really, you know, that's the one thing I find is that I'm craving a lot of foods. Um, you know, like I'll say, oh, Carl's Jr., I miss you, and then it's like, oh, no, wait, I need to remember the bigger picture here, you know, or, man, I wish I could have Chinese food after, out of, Chinese food out of a carton, you know, and it's like, no, I need to look at the bigger picture, I'll have, be able to have some of that or most of that eventually, and maybe I won't even want it at that point, and I know that this is for a better cause, so, um, tomorrow is Easter, happy Easter, everybody, he has risen, hallelujah, um, I'm, you know, it's such a wonderful day, and so um, I'm going to be going over to my in-laws, and they're, you know, my mother-in-law's making a roast with, you know, a green bean casserole and potatoes, and so mashed potatoes, and so I think I'll probably be able to have a little bit of mashed potatoes, but I think I'm going to bring my own food, um, just so that I can make sure, you know, I don't know how much butter she's going to be putting in the mashed potatoes, you know, I was thinking about maybe having some of the, 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 um, juice from the roast, but I don't know if that's going to be really, really fatty, and I don't know how, I don't really want to again, push for the dumping on, you know, fats and stuff too. So, um, let me see what else. So tomorrow, and then I'll probably be able to have hummus. I'll be able to have eggs during the soft foods. I'll be able to do like baby food meats or the meat sticks or something like that, as long as I really, really chew it. So, um, I might be able to do that. And I haven't really had much protein powder, except I added protein powder.